After driving around our first day, just getting lost on the island, this time we had planned to see the north coast and visit natural pools. It's much windier and the sea is rougher with more waves compared to the south coast. I'm not sure if that's because of today's weather, but I guess it's generally cooler and windier here on the north side. First we drove along the east side of Salvi Center, where we found the first natural pool, which seems to be part of a hotel or restaurant, we're not really sure, but it's publicly accessible, so we're going to check it out. On our next stop is Seychelles, where we should find a beautiful black sand beach and multiple volcanic natural pools. This black sand beach is surrounded by incredible landscape and has its very own waterfall. Just next to the beach there is Praia de Club Noval do Seychelles with a large natural swimming pool surrounded by volcanic rocks and a range of facilities which are publicly accessible. While driving through Seychelles, we saw that other natural pool which looked really cool, so we decided to go to swim there. Can you imagine driving a car from here and down here? I cannot. Yes, imagine. of course. And then there is probably more down yeah, there. Yeah, yes. <gasps> That's not a problem, right? No, this is very steep On our way to Porto Muniz, we stopped at this spot without actually knowing what's behind that rock. It's now early afternoon and the sky has cleared up, 
We are on our way to Porto Moniz, the most famous of the volcanic natural pools here on the island. It offers apparently the best facilities, lifeguards and a restaurant. While the other natural pools were all freely accessible, this one has an entrance fee of 1.5 euros per person, which isn't bad considering the available facilities including lifeguards. Way back home, we were searching for some tasty dinner, which led us here to Caleta, the only white or better yellow sand beach on the island. There are generally just black sand or pebblestone beaches on Madeira, but for this one, sand was brought over from North Africa. For our dinner we found Manifatura de Gelato, which is located in the marina of Caleta. Thank you. That's right. Uh, do you know this for to see the menu? Different languages. Menu. Yeah, video, uh, videoing. Videoing. <laughs> Happy Michael. <laughs> Your Look face is a bit red today. Huh? Face. You've okay. got some tan, I think, additional. Color? I got color, a, yes. I got color today. So today was a very beautiful day. What's the highlight for you? I think this uh, natural pool. I mean, we saw a couple of them. Mm -hmm. But actually swimming in it. But swimming in it was... Uh, you know me by now, so I'm not easily going to the water. I don't want to get wet. But that was an experience. It was really comfortable, nice. It was worth it. It was really worth it. To get wet. <laughs> yes. And now that... That's what Michael that's, would like to end the day with. That's uh, beautiful to end the day with. <laughs> 
Enjoy. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> In our next episode, we are going for our first hike to the top of Pico Ruivo, the highest point in the island. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye.